welcome back to the channel, where we explore the latest in robotics, AI, and technology. Today, we're diving into an exciting development in the world of humanoid robots, an innovative framework called ASAP, or Aligning Simulation and Real World Physics. Humanoid robots have the potential to perform incredible human-like tasks, but there's one big hurdle, achieving agile, coordinated whole body motions that truly mimic how humans move. This challenge is rooted in the mismatch between how simulations behave and the realities of real world physics. Let's take a closer look at how ASAP is overcoming these challenges and enabling more agile humanoid robots. Humanoid robots like the Unitree G1 hold immense promise. Just imagine them performing tasks that require the agility and coordination of humans, but doing so with the precision and power of robotics. However, to achieve this level of movement, robots need to synchronize with both simulated environments and the unpredictable dynamics of the real world. And right now, that's where things get tricky. Current methods, like System Identification, SysID, and Domain Randomization, DR, can help, but they come with their own set of issues. SysID can be labor-intensive, requiring lots of parameter tweaking. And DR tends to result in overly conservative policies, meaning robots aren't as agile as they could be. That's where ASAP comes in. ASAP is a two-stage framework designed specifically to align simulation and real-world physics. Here's how it works. Stage 1. Pre-training motion tracking policies in simulation. In the first stage, humanoid motion data is retarget from real human videos into simulations. Using this data, we pre-train motion tracking policies. These are essentially robotic blueprints that allow the robot to learn movements based on the real-world motion data it's been given. Stage 2. Delta action model training and fine-tuning. Once these policies are pre-trained, we move to the second stage. This is where things get really interesting. In this stage, the robot's actions in the real world are tracked and compared to its simulated movements. We then create a delta action model, which essentially compensates for the differences between how the robot moves in simulation and how it moves in reality. The delta model is then integrated back into the simulator, refining the robot's actions and ensuring better alignment with the real world dynamics. Let's break down the four core steps of the ASAP framework. Motion Tracking Pre-Training and Real Trajectory Collection First, humanoid motions are retarget from human video data and pre-training is done in simulation to generate real-world trajectories. Delta Action Model Training Next, the discrepancies between simulation and reality are minimized by training a Delta Action Model based on real-world data collected from the robot's movements. Policy Fine-Tuning The Delta Model is integrated into the simulator and the pre-trained policy is fine-tuned to ensure better coordination and agility. Real-World Deployment Finally, the fine-tuned policy is deployed directly in the real world, where the robot can now perform with higher agility and better coordination, without the need for the Delta model to run in real time. So, how does ASAP stack up against existing methods? When we compared ASAP to traditional methods like SysID, domain randomization, and Delta Dynamics Learning, we saw a significant improvement in agility and coordination. The robots were able to perform dynamic motions with far less tracking error, which means smoother, faster, and more fluid movements. ASAP's two-stage approach unlocks highly agile motions that were previously difficult to achieve. By bridging the gap between simulation and real-world dynamics, we're seeing robots that can move more naturally and with greater precision. In our evaluation, ASAP showed significant improvements across various transfer scenarios. Isaac Jim to Isaacson, Isaac Jim to Genesis, and most excitingly, Isaac Jim to the real-world Unitree G1 humanoid robot. Glow showing Europe Africa robot face. This means ASAP isn't just theory, it's ready for real-world application. The future of humanoid robots is agile, expressive, and dynamic. And with ASAP's framework, we're one step closer to robots that can learn real-world skills as seamlessly as humans do. Thanks for watching. If you're as excited as we are about the future of agile humanoid robots, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more updates, and let us know what you think about ASAP in the comments below. Stay tuned as we continue to explore the cutting edge of robotics and AI. Until next time, keep innovating!